Hey, what's up guys, it's Nasir from Valorant Top 7 Fortnite players that switched to Valorant. After the official release of Valorant in 2020, CS, Geo players weren't the only ones who got drawn into Riot's shooter. Fortnite is another game that's often labeled as a dead end in terms of esports, even though it has such a great scene. It came as no surprise that many Fortnite pro players decided to make the switch and kickstart their career in Valorant. Here are the top 7 Fortnite pro players that switched to Valorant. Top 7 Wakey, Felix the Thibo, Wakey, Hortland, also known as Black One E, was a professional Fortnite player for Executors Ones and Godsent. His biggest achievement was his squad FNCS title in Chapter 2 Season 1 and his participation in the Solo World Cup Finals in 2019. After making nearly $220,000, he lost his passion for Fortnite and started grinding Valorant. There he was never an actual esports athlete, but in June 2022, he reached rank 1 on the Valorant Radiant Rank leaderboard when he was still just 17. With that said, he retired from all esports and is now probably building up his life as he is still very young today. We wish him the best of luck on his future path. Top 6 Thwifo Xander Thwifo Kim Left side on the picture was a professional Fortnite player for Ghost Gaming who made $129,000 in prize money. But in July 2020 he joined XSET and switched to Valorant. Until December 2023 he also signed for T1, NRG, and 100 Thieves before he became a coach and analyst to transport his knowledge to younger players. Top 5. Poach. Jake. Poach. Brumley played Fortnite for Team Liquid for nearly two years and got his best placements in the Fortnite Summer Skirmish back in 2018. After making more than $300,000, he decided to jump ship and join Valorant. He made his debut at Inbox but left the team later to join Built by Gamers. His last station as a player was the famous FaZe Clan. At the age of 24, he decided to switch roles and became a coach at Disguise GC. Top 4 Zeke Alexander Zeke Zygmunt played for Dynamind and AGO Esports in Fortnite. With AGO and his Polish colleague Jarko S, he managed to earn $9,000 in total before switching to Valorant in 2020. In Riot Shooter, he was part of those guys and Nalpenki before he made it to join G2 Esports in 2021. Afterward, he also played for Ascend, Team Heretics, and Go Next Esports. In Valorant, he earned an approximate prize money of $105,000, which is nearly 12 times his Fortnite earnings. Top 3 Zippin Pontus Zippin Eek is one of the younger players on this list that switched to Valorant. During his time in Fortnite, he played for Epsilon Esports, raised by Kings and Exalti, making nearly $60,000 out of it. The Swedish player succeeded in multiple skirmish events as well as in the first FNCS tournaments where he played for a while with the Lithuanian pro Red Rush who became FNCS champion two seasons later. After making the switch to Valorant in 2020, he started as a stand-in for Ninjas in Pajamas, then joined Fabrican and Funplus Phoenix. After four years he is close to doubling his Fortnite prize money with currently $113,000 in his name. Nowadays, he is playing for the famous Ukrainian esports organization Natus Vincera, also known as Navi or Navi. Top 2 Psalm Harrison Psalm Chang played Heroes of the Storm, but after Blizzard killed the game's pro scene, he switched to Fortnite. There, he joined Counter Logic Gaming for roughly a year, from 2019 to 2020. His biggest achievement was second place in Fortnite's first and only ever solo World Cup, earning himself $1.8 million at the age of 24. The switch to Valorant came in May 2020. The most popular team he played for was Dignitas from 2020 to 2021. Since 2022 he hasn't participated in a team, but with a lot of prize money in his bank and 29 years of age on his shoulders, he had a pretty successful esports career. Top 1 Benji Fishy No introduction is needed, but any Anyway, Benji David Fish, also known as Benji Fishy, is one of the most iconic Fortnite pros in the history of the game. With an approximate prize money of more than $600,000, he's one of Fortnite's greatest of all time, making it to the World Cup Finals and Solos and Duos in 2019, making it first in various tournaments. The only title he sadly never got in his Fortnite career was becoming an FNCS champion. After switching to Valorant, he was a streamer for his former Fortnite team NRG. After that, he fought for his spot in the Czech team Enterprise Gaming. He is part of the famous Spanish organization Team Heretics, competing in VCTEMEA and other official tournaments. What did you think about this player? Did they make the right choice or warn? Let us know in the comments.